There are more than a hundred different autoimmune diseases and 50 million Americans have one or more autoimmune diseases. The most popular diet at the moment for autoimmune disease appears to be one that removes beans and grains and nightshade vegetables and recommends eating only free-range organic meat, fruit and some vegetables. However, when it comes to autoimmune diseases, we need to understand the role inflammation plays and therefore look at inflammatory and anti-inflammatory foods. This clip from Dr. Michael Greger may be one of the best explanations I've heard when it comes to deciding which is the most effective diet for reversing autoimmune conditions. So let's take a listen. There's actually something called dietary inflammatory index, which is based on thousands of studies. Basically, give someone a food, you see what happens to their markers of inflammation. So you see reactive protein, you're in a leukin 6, tumor necrosis factor, and then you see whether they go up or down. And they try another food, they try another spice, they try another beverage. And so there's thousands of these studies out there. So this dietary inflammatory index, all they did was take all the studies that's never been done and find out which food is most consistently anti-inflammatory, and which foods and food components are most consistently pro-inflammatory. And so you can see what is an anti-inflammatory diet and what are the most inflammatory food components? Saturated fat, trans fats, where saturated fat is basically meat, dairy, and processed junk food. What are the most anti-inflammatory food component? Fiber. Where's fiber found? Only one place, plant foods by definition, and only one place in abundance, and that's whole plant foods. And there are other anti-inflammatory things like flavones, which are found in like chamomile tea, and there's all sorts of, but the most pro-inflammatory animal foods, processed foods, the most anti-inflammatory fiber. And so that just gives you a sense of what an anti-inflammatory diet would look like. There's positive values for pro-inflammatory foods, negative values. The average um, standard American diet is pro-inflammatory. If you add up all the everything they eat, switch them into a plant-based diet, and they flip into anti-inflammatory. And so what is an autoimmune disease? It is inflammation. Right? And so that's why plant-based diets are so effective for treating rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis, you know, ankylosing spondylitis and inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. These are all autoimmune conditions treating this, this cascade of inflammation. And so you want anti-inflammatory diet, which by definition is a whole food plant-based diet. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.